Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Eric here. Today we are back with part three of our Unified Minds Booster Box opening series. So if you guys did miss it, we actually did open two boxes already uh, in parts one and two. I will have links down below in the description if you guys want to see what we got out of those Unified Minds Booster Boxes. Uh, you know, pulls have been a little bit hit or miss. One of the boxes was definitely a little bit better than the other, but we're hoping of course to, you know, cap things off pretty nicely with Booster Box number three here. So. If you guys did miss the first two parts, I did mention part one was kind of a traditional opening where we show off all the commons and uncommons as well. But for boxes two and three here, these are going to be primarily speed opening. So we're not going to be spending too much time on the commons and uncommons, really just getting to see, you know, all of the juicy pulls, all of the GXs, full arts, all that good stuff. Uh, so if you guys care a little bit more about seeing the commons, uncommons and trainers and stuff like that, booster box uh, number one, we'll have a link down below in the description to that. But let's dig into booster box number three here, see what we can get here in the final box of this opening series. So if you guys um, didn't see the other parts as well, I did give a shout out to our sponsor, flipsidegaming.com. If you guys are looking for some Unified Minds cards, uh, packs, singles, whatever it might be, head over to their website. If you use the coupon code RAREcandy, all one word, all caps, at checkout, you will actually save 10% on your order. So if you guys are looking up, pick up some cards, definitely head over there. I'll have a link down below in the description for them too. But let's see if we can get. So at this point, I actually haven't pulled, you know, spoiler alert, haven't pulled any copies of Mew and Mewtwo GX. So that's definitely a card we want to pull in any quantities possible here. Well, that's not quite it, but <laughs> we'll take it. We got Slowpoke and Psyduck GX here. So at least we're kicking off this box with a GX pull. That's always what you like to see. So this card is definitely, uh, I think, a little bit of a meme. It seems like it has like this ridiculous coin flipping attack. Uh, the first attack actually isn't too shabby though. But nevertheless, a half decent way to kick off this uh, this box here. Oh, uh, we have Pikachu and a full art Misty's Favor. So <laughs> that actually kind of goes hand in hand with the Psyduck and Slowpoke. I'm actually okay with pulling this. It's not a very good card, unfortunately, but uh, full art supporters, especially a Misty full art supporter is definitely gonna be uh, decent as far as value goes. So if nothing else, this is gonna be trade bait for me uh, to maybe trade for some other stuff I need from the set. So definitely don't mind pulling this too much. Even though, like I said, if you haven't seen this channel before, I'm definitely a player first, collector second. Uh, but first two packs in, we're doing killer. We have a GX and a full art. <laughs> I'm really hoping the rest of this half of the box isn't like very stale to watch as a result. But hopefully that just means we have, you know, a lot still left on this box too. We have Cherish Barbers, very nice, and Excadrill. So we have Metatite and Unpheasant. So it was about time. We're starting to strike out a little bit. Uh, we can't get a GX in every pack, unfortunately. Um, there are still a couple of hollow rares I'm looking for, um, specifically Aegislash. It's gonna be the big one I'm personally really on the hunt for. I actually don't think I pulled any out of any of the packs of open. Ooh, we did get Reverse Hollow, Summering Forest, and the Moongus. That's actually uh, a very appropriate pack. Did we get the Breloom in here? Okay, we did not. I was gonna say that would be too perfect if we did, but definitely not a, a bad little uh, non hollow rare pack. Let's see, we have Riolu and we have a hollow Uxi. Oh, uh, we definitely got something here, guys. Let's see what we have. Oh, we have Full Art Rout and a Lowen Executor GX. So we're definitely getting memed on in this box, guys. We're, we're actually getting good things as far as the pull rates and the rarity of said pulls, but the playability of the pulls, ooh, definitely not my favorite. But I actually did specifically say if we're gonna pull any of this card, I definitely wanted to pull it. I really like the way this looks. And uh, I do collect these sets outside of the rainbow rares. So I do need at least one of these for my uh, master set. I guess technically not master set since I'm not collecting rainbow rares, but you guys get the gist of it. 
But um, I think this car has potential, just right now in standard format, it doesn't seem too great specifically. But definitely a cool card to get, and one I have not yet pulled. So, yeah, first half of this box pretty stacked as far as our pull rates go. Hopefully we can get something else a little bit more playable um, before the end of this thing, though. So here we got Slackoth and a Lipard. You know, another card that could make this good, if we get Secret Rare Reset Stamp or Secret Rare Cherish Paul, that would also be amazing. I'd actually be fine with not pulling anything else for the rest of this <laughs> uh, booster box, um, as far as GXs and stuff like that goes, if we got one of those. All right, so we have Skaroopy, and we got my boy Noivern there. Definitely going to be looking for any reverse Noibat. That's definitely one of the reverses I am going to be hunting down in this set. Man, this pack is not wanting to cooperate with me here. There we go. Oh! Hey! We got Secret Attack Switch! And we got Reverse uh, Elgin. That's not too bad either. The Secret Attack Switch, that's definitely a decent one. That wasn't one of the ones like I said I was specifically looking for, but that's definitely a super busted pull. Uh, definitely a very playable uh, Secret Rare to get. Very happy with this. This is actually probably the pull of the opening series so far, debatably. So, yeah, guys, I'm actually uh, ecstatic for this. That's, that's a pretty good one. I forgot that Tax Witch had a Secret Rare. So, yeah, first half of, bo of box number three here, pretty stacked. Four Ultra Rares pulls so far on this side of the box. Show up a little bit of that texture before we move on. Very, very nice. So I'm not sure if I am playing Picarom at Worlds, but if I do, I will have a Secret Attack Switch to play with, which is uh, pretty nice. So here, oh, we got Executor, and we got my boy Aegislash. It only took us three boxes, but we finally got there. I'm a big fan of the Aegislash from the set. We did uh, a deck on this thing already on the channel about a month ago. I, like every time there's a new set, there's always a stage two that I'm just drawn to that I try to make work in Age of Slash is definitely the, like, kind of like my pet deck of uh, Unified Minds. So, Salanda and Talon Flames. So yeah, overall guys, uh, this half of the box, pretty busted. We got our Age of Slash. We got two forwards and a Secret Rare, so I'm honestly kind of dreading opening the rest of these packs just because I don't think it's too likely we have additional full arts beyond what we've gotten. We got Noivern and Whimsicott. Uh, the one thing I, I think I would like to pull though is going to be a Mewtwo and Mew GX. I've actually not pulled any. I opened three boxes off camera whenever I first got these in the mail just so we could go ahead and get some codes up on our PT's Geo account. Um, pulled no Mewtwo's there and we've not pulled any Mewtwo's out of the other boxes so that's a big fat rip if we don't get any. Got it be him. I am cool with that. So even if it's just like a regular art, Mewtwo Mew, I'm going to be cool with that. Let's see, Munchlax and Victini. Koopa and a little Raichu, definitely not too bad. We got our reverse rare and a hollow rare, the same pack. Alrighty guys, so one pack left for the uh, first half of box number three. Like I said, I'm a little pessimistic. We're gonna get anything good out of this since we've already done so well up until now, but we're definitely going to try our best. If nothing, maybe we can get ourselves a cool reverse. That would be, I think, pretty reasonable. So we have Azelf and Lucario, so neither of which are interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, first half has gone very well so far. Let's hopefully duplicate our success on the second half of this box here. Really, as long as we can get like one Mew to Mew to walk away with, I think this will be a success here. So you have Poipole and an Archaeops. Sneasel and Zerkatry. Let's 
Steelix and Mag Mortar. So this half is not starting off too explosive compared to the immediate GX and immediate full art <laughs> that we had on the first couple packs there for the first half of the box. But that is okay with me. Musharna and Scrafty. So we have Dark City and a Latios GX. I saw the purple and I was like, we got there boys, we got Mewtwo and Mew. <laughs> but we didn't. <laughs> uh, Latios actually isn't too bad though. It's a decent one of potentially, I think in Malamar maybe at some point, or even in like the Mewtwo Mew like toolbox deck, I think this is an okay consideration just cause it can wall against tag teams. So one of the, I guess more above average GXs we could have pulled. We got Joltik and Honchkrow. Tax Witch and Garchomp. Pretty nice. We got a Hollow Rare, a decent Hollow Rare at that. And we have a Reverse Tax Witch. Don't need that thing anymore though, since we got our, our fancy secret rare one, but definitely a cool card to pull nevertheless. So we have Axew and Tapu Fini. We have Drifloon and Necrozma. Alrighty. Striking out a little bit here. Again, fingers crossed guys, we can just get ourselves a Mewtwo Mew. That'll be like the best way to end this series. Hey, we got Chandelure. I don't think we've actually pulled any of those at this point. So that is definitely okay with me. That definitely seems like could be a fun deck just to, to play around on PTCGO with. Probably not like competitive, but uh, it seems kind of cool. Like you mill the top five cards of your deck, I think, and you put any fire evolutions onto your bench. So that could be fun. So we have Swadloon and Executor. So here, oh, Garchomp and uh, Heatran GX. Not a Mewtwo and Mew. <laughs> that feels bad. <laughs> oh man. Please don't let Heatran GX be our last GX pull of this booster box series opening, please, for the love of God. <laughs> I think Mawile's probably the worst GX, but this has got to be pretty close. Definitely nothing too exciting here with this thing, but nevertheless, it is a GX, but unfortunately, like even though it is better than like a regular rare, it takes up one of our guaranteed or near guaranteed GX slots in our box. So actually, I think I like getting the reverse Garchomp more than the Heatran, if that tells you how, <laughs> how much I'm not excited for that card. <laughs> Again, I can feel the collectors like slamming their, their faces into their keyboards. They're probably thinking, what, it's Heatran, it's dope. But he's not a very good card, guys, unfortunately. So we have Murkrow and Zygarde. <laughs> Five packs left. Come on, we need we need something 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 a little bit more exciting to close out this box. Hone Edge and Salazzle. What that? Well, that's not it. Kangaskhan and okay, Raichu Lone Raichu GX. If this is our last GX pull, this is a, this is definitely a a nice runner up to Mewtwo and Mew to close out this opening with. Raichu and a little Raichu, or Choo Choo GX, I definitely think is debatably like the best or maybe the second best tag team, like right behind Mewtwo and Mew. So that is definitely okay. And I'm a big Raichu fan, just as a Pokemon. So I'm always happy to see Raichu get some pretty playable cards. So 
if this is indeed our last pull, that's definitely a killer way to end uh, the opening series here. But nevertheless, we got three packs. So we're still gonna use these three packs to try to hunt ourselves down a Mewtwo and Mew GX. And if I can get this pack open, that would definitely help. Let's see, we have Drifloon and it's, or Drift Blim, my mistake, and a Scavalier. So we have Audino and Toxapex. And that only leaves us one pack left, guys. And is this gonna be a Mewtwo Mew pack? Oh, and it is. I'm really hoping uh, this thing's not just trolling us with this pack artwork. Hopefully we can get ourselves a Mewtwo Mew. Granted, we've already pulled seven Ultra Rares, so I'm thinking it probably won't happen, but we're gonna cross our fingers on this one, guys. Hopefully, we, if, if nothing else, we can get some sort of decent reverse pull or something like that. So let's see here. We have ourselves Marini, Litwick, Cubone, Yanma, Young Goose, Psychic Energy, Dragonair, Steeny, Dublade, Reverse and Pheasant, and the last card of the Unified Minds Booster Box opening series that we're doing here. <laughs> Bulk. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, guys, we still did good on this box. Like, uh, just in terms of all of the boxes, we definitely, definitely, did. I actually think Mewtwo Mew GX was the only GX I did not pull out of this entire set. Because, uh, like I said, I opened three boxes off camera just so we could go ahead and get codes on our account and then open all of these and no Mewtwo Mews. But unfortunately, that's like one of the side effects of the sets just getting so massive like this. It makes it much more difficult to pull what you want. So, uh, Definitely makes buying singles more enticing, which of course you guys can do over at flipsidegaming.com. And don't be afraid to use that coupon code RAREKANDY if you guys wanna save yourself some money on some of those cards as well. Uh, but anyways, before we wrap up, I'm just gonna go through some of this bulk and we're gonna do a quick recap on our pulls before we end the video. Alrighty guys, so for our Hollow Rares, we got Uxie, Aegislash, Victini, Alolan Raichu, Garchomp, Chandelure. So in total, we got six Hollows in total, which is actually right about where you want to be. Six Hollow Rares is gonna be the average pull rate out of a booster box. And we actually got some of the better ones. We got our boy Aegislash, finally, after all of this searching. Uh, the Victini honestly doesn't seem too bad with the new Articuno Zapdos Moltres that's kind of looming on the horizon. Garchomp isn't terrible. Chandelure is not terrible. So I'll say I think we did pretty solid overall for our Hollow Rare pools. I think the only thing we could have maybe done differently is replace one of these with a Frostlass and we would have been, you know, e even better. But overall, happy with how our Hollows turned out. Going on to our Ultra Rares, we got the Raichu, Alolan Raichu, kind of saved the box at the end from having the Heatran ending. Speaking of which, we have the dreaded Heatran GX, we have Latios GX, uh, Slowpoke and Psyduck GX, Full Art Route and Alolan Executor GX, the Floor and Misty's Favor, and the definitely the highlight of the box, maybe even out of all three boxes, debatably, um, we have the Secret Rare Tag Switch. So in total, guys, we have seven Ultra Rare pulls in total, above average, definitely uh, you know a little bit better than most boxes. So overall, Happy to, to end this opening series with this box. We definitely didn't do too bad overall, despite a couple of dud pulls here and there. Uh, but yeah, guys, hope you did enjoy this content. Like I said, if you did miss boxes one and two, I will have a link down below in the description. But if you can, like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store, rarecandytcg.com. Definitely makes doing opening videos like this a lot more financially feasible for us over here on the channel. But with that, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.